Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have an interesting circle problem. So we have three small circles that are um, that um, two of them are tangent uh, to the one of them and we have um, a bigger circle um, which is tangent to the to two of the circles and um, we have uh, line segments which are uh, tangent to all of this four circles um, I mean uh, this line segment tangent to the bigger one and to uh, these two and this line segment is tangent to the bigger one and these two so um, the radius of the bigger circle is 1 and um, we have here three congruent circles and the radius of each of them are, is r so we need to find this the value of r so um, the first thing uh, we can notice here is that like if the line segment is tangent here then the radius is perpendicular then um, let's draw another radius um, and this is also perpendicular so this is r and this is r2 and this one is also r so this is 3r um, then this one let me try it with another marker so this one will be 1 minus 3r so we know that this is r then this one is also r and if this is a radius the length of radius is 1 and this one is r then uh, the length of this side will be 1 minus r and then if we draw another line here here we have 1 this is a radius and here we have r so this side will be 1 plus r so we have here um, a right triangle with sides um, 1 plus r uh, this is the hypotenuse um, 1 minus r and 1 minus 3r so um, we can solve it like um, 1 minus 3r um, plus 1 minus r squared so 1 minus 3r squared plus 1 minus r squared is equal to 1 plus r squared so this is a Pythagorean theorem so this will be um, this one will be 1 minus 6r plus 9r squared then here we have plus 1 minus 2r and plus r squared and here we have 1 plus 2r plus r squared bam bam and and this one as well so here we have 9r squared um, 9r squared minus 10r plus 1 is equal to 0 and here we have um, a very beautiful formula remember ax squared um, plus bx plus c is equal to 0 we have a really good formula if a plus b plus c will be equal to 0 um, then x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to c divided by a this is always true So let's apply this here. 
mm, we know that 9 minus 10 plus 1 is equal to 0, then R1 is equal to 1, and R2 is equal to 1 divided by 9, which is, yeah, 1. So, yeah, 1 over 9. So, um, 1 is irrelevant because um, R is the radius of a smaller circle, and we know that the radius of the bigger circle is 1, so it can't be equal to 1. Then the answer will be, one over nine and that's the answer so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to push the like button and subscribe my channel and see you in the next video bye